Hi there everyone, I'm Samantha and today we have dance story time. I'm so excited for our book today which is Brontorina by James Howe and it's illustrated by Randy Cecil. If you would like a copy of this book to read at home, like Celine here, I have an affiliate link you can use in the notes below. And if you are after more books about dance, why not check out some of the dance book review articles on the Move Dance Learn website. There are literally hundreds of dance books for all ages to choose from. Are you ready to get started? Let's get in. Brontorina had a dream. I want to dance. Madame Lucille's Dance Academy for Girls and Boys. But you are a dinosaur, Madame Lucille pointed out. True, Brontorina replied, but in my heart I am a ballerina. She is too big and she does not have the right shoes. Madame Lucille wondered what to do. She had never had a dinosaur as a student before. Dinosaurs were rather large and this one certainly did not have the right shoes. But then she felt Clara and Jack tugging at her skirt Oh, please, they pleaded. Madame Lucille looked into the dinosaur's eyes. What is your name, my dear? Brontorina. Brontorina Apatosaurus. I even sound like a dancer, don't you agree? Madame Lucille did agree. How could she not? Welcome to Madame Lucille's Dance Academy for girls and boys, she said. Please try not to squash the other dancers. Music Magnolia, she commanded the piano player. As Magnolia began to play, Madame Lucille turned her commands to her students. Plie. Oh, they're all plieing. It means to bend your knees. Releve. Oh dear. Releve means to rise. Oh, I think Brontorina rose a bit too high. Arabesque. Oh, what a lovely arabesque. Jeté. Jeté means to throw, and in this situation, they're doing a, a big leap, like throwing themselves in the air. Uh, but I think Brontorina has um, thrown herself up too high. What a graceful dancer you are, my dear, Madame Lucille exclaimed. Brontorina blushed. On the outside, I am a dinosaur, but in my heart, you're a ballerina, cried Clara and Jack. She still doesn't have the right shoes. They're making a big deal about her not having the right shoes, aren't they? In the weeks that followed, <gasps> look out! Hey, watch your tail. <gasps> the piano. Oh, oh Brontorina cried Madame Lucille. I'm afraid you are too big to be a ballerina. You barely fit in my studio. And how in the world will a male dancer ever lift you over his head? 
I could do it, Jack shouted. No, my dear Madame Lucelle said with a sigh. You could not. Those girls in the class again. I told you she was too big. A tear fell from Brontorina's eye. Downcast, she turned to leave. Wait, Clara called out. Don't go. My mother has been working on a surprise for you all week, Brontorina. She's bringing it today. Whatever are you talking about, Madame Lucille asked Clara. Just then, Clara's mother appeared at the door. You must be Brontorina, she said, holding out the surprise. I hope these will fit. Well, now she has the right shoes. Brontorina beamed. They fit perfectly, she cried. I am a ballerina. Or I would be, if only I weren't so big. Oof, fiddlesticks, said Madame Lucille. Why didn't I see it before? The problem is not that you are too big. The problem is that my studio is too small. And so the whole class went off to look for a studio big enough to hold all of Brontorina's talent. Too small? Too small. Still too small? Still too small. I have an idea. Mm. Mm, I wonder what his idea is going to be. Now Madame Lucille's Dance Academy had room for everyone. Madame Lucille's Outdoor Dance Academy for girls and boys and dinosaurs. <laughs> and this cheeky one. And cows. I want to dance. Then you must, my dear. Shoes, all sizes. And it all began with a dream. Wow, I really enjoyed that book by James Howe and Randy Cecil. Did you enjoy it? I think my favorite part was when Madame Cecile realizes there's another solution to the problem. If you want to dance like Brontorina, why not try one of the creative dance classes I've got on the channel? Maybe the one about dinosaurs or even one of the ballet ones or any of the others. And if you'd like a copy of this book, ask a grown up to check out the link below so you can purchase your own copy. Well, until next time, keep on dancing and keep on reading and bye!